to a game called Reflection, I believe it was called? Yes, it's called Reflection. I only clicked on this game because pretty, um, but apparently it's gonna be a very dark and uh, possibly triggering game, so you saw the warning, hopefully you did. If you didn't, I'm saying it now. Uh, be, be careful, make sure you're in a safe environment, etc. The sweet smoke of the dying candle dances through the room, enveloping my senses. This looks like it's going to be a graphic novel. A small distraction as the dark world behind my eyes descends. Our name is Ivy. Okay, deep breaths. Visualize. This is very loud. Feel the room. Time passes, though how much I'm unsure. The tendrils of my memory... The tendrils of my memory reach out, shaping the darkness, giving it life. Are we meditating right- oh my god. Are we meditating right now? Come on, focus. I am so unsure as to what's happening right now. It worked? I sigh, repeating the descriptions my friend had made of me before. You're insane. Oh, are we blind? And we're trying to figure out what we look like? Certifiably crazy. Giving my head a shake, I continue. Here we go. The first rule... Contemplate your decision to visit. I think this is much more in depth than what I was thinking. Well, I'm a curious person. Maybe a simple answer isn't enough. I'm studying folklore and I love the occult. I'm working on my masters, and yesterday I noticed how, just how empty my apartment is. It doesn't feel like it's mine yet. I moved from shared household and finally on my own space. I was excited at first. No roommates, no parties, no drama. But aside from a bed and a table, I didn't bring furniture, not even a mirror. So I walked into an antique store when I saw an old mirror in the window, and I bought it. When I tore off the paper the clerk had wrapped it in, I saw writing on the back of the frame, carved into the wood, the rules. When online searches and school archives turned up blank, I knew I had to play. Ouija boards, pendulums, tarot cards, I've tried them all. If it's an occult practice, I've studied it. Rituals, especially. Alright, covered rule one. The second rule, give her permission to borrow your voice, but nothing else. I continue without hesitation. You may borrow my voice. There's no reply. Rule three, let go until she arrives. Let go is kind of broad. I loosen my grip and allow my mind to wander. All right, it's getting blurry. Not a fan, not a fan. Not a fan of this so far. Hair raises, my flesh screams below. That's, Jesus begging me to turn back. I love the sensation. I think she's describing fear there. Not 100% sure, but I think that's what's happening. Review the rules while you wait. I recite them in the stillness of the void. Allow her to speak first. Ask if you've met before. Speak quietly. Say goodbye. Don't open your eyes. Don't accept any deals. Never break the mirror. Never visit twice. Never scream. I resist the ears to roll my eyes. These rules reek of childish plotting. Yeah, if you were, like, messing with people at a sleepover, one of the rules would be don't scream so then your parents wouldn't get you in trouble. My nails dig into the vanity, nearly cracking. Ugh. Sorry, cracking nails is just so... Ugh. The, sensa the sensation of breath on my neck is familiar. The pattern, unmistakably human. There's gonna be something there, dude. As the air traces my skin, I feel an echo in my bones. It's cold. Freezing. What are we trying to accomplish here? Hi, me. God, I look great. I look great today. Was I supposed to open my eyes? She's here. Oh, it's zooming in. I don't like that. Her presence. It's now I've imagined the spirit world to be. Back to back with our own. Felt and heard, but unseen. So are we blind? Or is that just something I made up? Ivy. My heart shudders. I knew she'd borrow my voice, but oh, so it's the same voice. But I like reading it fun, so it's fine. That's fucking weird. I clear my throat. How? The rule jumps into my mind and I rush to correct myself. Have we met? Yes. A gasp escapes me. It's not a scream, it doesn't count. I know what it's like to try to scream. How did she... But I didn't when the... 
But I didn't when the girls first came for me. I ran for my father instead. I need to stop doing that. I'm going to die. He opened the door when they brought the rope. He didn't want a troublesome daughter. A girl who reeked of vanity. A sinner, a little witch. They were jealous girls. Even when I hung from the tree, my hair fell in perfect ringlets and glistened in the sunlight. They didn't stay to watch me die. You see, they didn't drop me from the branch. They lowered me. It was slow and boring. They hanged me from a willow on the edge of a lake. I used to admire my reflection on that riverbank, but that day I swung in the breeze and watched my feet dangle above the water's edge. Oh, Lee God! Hi, me! I saw my eyes bulge and my tongue beg to leave my throat. I wasn't pretty anymore, just like Father said. Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Ugh. I was trapped there, even after the warmth had left my body. The pain didn't end. I wonder if that was death. If I would feel my body pull at my neck like a rotten anchor until it finally gave way and left my skull behind. Ugh. I wonder if I'd be buried beside my mother and feel her decay next to me. The sun set and no one came. I swayed there through the night, but when dawn broke and the morning light shone my corpse, I slipped away. I fell into the stream and lingered there for a time. It was washed away the pain, but that putrid anger remained. Alright, can we go back to me talking, please? Ugh, it's, it's really unsettling my stomach and I don't know why. Now I visit girls like me, the ones who watch themselves die slowly. My throat tightens. Ugh. I'm not like you. Goosebumps trace my spine and she laughs. Do you remember the bridge? Those girls were just like the ones that tied the noose. They wanted to watch a pretty girl die. And you wanted to make them smile. You thought they were your friends. Okay, so... Oh, God. I hate descriptions of nails going in the palms. Because that just, like... Ugh, it drives me crazy. So, we have... An experience... I don't remember the rules. Am I allowed to yell at her? Just don't yell it. Casually. Fuck you. Who's a dare? I feel her razor-sharp smile grow. You're afraid because you remember. I was in the river when you jumped, just beneath the surface, waiting with arms outstretched. So we survived something that probably should have killed us? Our eyes met as you plunged below. So we saw a reflection just before we broke through the water. We met again shortly afterwards. I glanced at you from the bottom of a bottle. Oh, okay. You took those pills from a stranger's hand and dropped them on your tongue. You felt pretty when you did that. I watched you drown them in liquor. Now you're here, ready to die. No! What not those girls call you? Daredevil? Thrill seeker? Junkie? We're in college right now, so I'm assuming we're not that anymore. Suicidal, they weren't wrong. The things you did to make them laugh, to make them like you, you knew what it would cost. And every time you survived that plunge, you climbed higher. Always searching for happiness in others when you can't scratch the surface of your own. Surface. You're a parasite. I shake my head. I wasn't trying to kill myself. Don't lie. Is this like... I'm trying to pick this apart. Uh, because that's what I do. I'm an English nerd. Um, I've been watching. I think... Because there's two ways this can go. The voice that we're speaking to could be... Um, lying to us and making us perceive our past as different as it actually was. Or, it could be the little voice in your head that's correct and it's right. Telling you, hey man, stop because, you know, what you're doing is wrong. The game audio, it's being shown as very loud on my capture, but it's really quiet. It's all bass. That jump, those pills, summoning her. I did it willingly. I liked it. You just need to bring the rope. Trust me, you'll love the feeling. It's better than every brush with death. Give me your hands. Alright, suddenly I'm very confused. I'll do it for you. The rules, give her nothing else. I won't let you. Don't be scared, it's fast, like cliff jumping. So, she's trying to convince me to, to jump, uh, but die this time. Give me your eyes. Say no. Say no. Say no. No. Okay, thank you. Don't scream, though. Maybe I was wrong. You're not ready. But I want you to stay. <laughs> Holy God! Okay, we weren't supposed to break the mirror. I remember that rule. 
A sweet crash of glass shatters my focus. My hand trembles and I reach out, refusing to open my eyes. To my relief, the mirror remains intact. As I lower my hand, I feel it. A braided necklace tightening. Okay, so she was trying to convince us to open her eyes, which I think we're also not supposed to do. So pretty, I have a gift for you. Let me get the clasp. What just happened? Please, I... I won't visit again. Is she gonna, like, choke us out with a necklace? The noose tears... Ow! Okay, it's not a necklace! I can't breathe. I'm going to die. How is that happening, though? Oh, sweet Ivy. I promise you will. I know you. We're not allowed to visit twice. The next time you visit, you'll give me your hands willingly. We'll jump together. But for now... Goodbye. I feel like we probably should have said goodbye earlier. The rope slips away. The music reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. I really love it. I'm shaking. I'm like legitimately jumpy. I'm trying to like talk with my hands as I usually do, but like my throat, I keep losing my voice. I keep jittering. That's the mark of a good game right there. You don't even feel tense until you start moving. All right, um, cool. That was stressful. I don't know what the heck just happened. Can I load anything? I can't load anything. So maybe this is like the, I can't. Yeah, I can't visit again. Oh, it's just locked now or screwed. I can't. You know what, good for us. Good for us for, for refusing, I guess. Is there a way I can reset it? Unseen text. Oh, okay, I see. But choice is plural. I only made one choice. There has to be more. Is there a way to reset it? I should have saved uh, at that one... Damn, bro. I don't think I can reset it. Okay. So we're back here. Um, I'm gonna cut to that choice I made, and I'm gonna save it. All right, so we're gonna save right here. Um, last time I said F you, we're gonna say goodbye now. I want out, goodbye. You're afraid because you remember, I was in the river when you jumped. Just, okay, so this is all the same. We said goodbye though. We didn't piss her off, but we did say goodbye. I thought we were in control of this, so when we say goodbye, we're done. Yeah, this is all the same. The the spirit lady says, I know you will visit again. I promise you will. I know you. But when we tried before, we didn't succeed. The next time you visit, you'll give me your hands willingly. We'll jump together, but for now... Goodbye. So for now, we're okay. The rope slips away. She's gone. Goodbye. We said goodbye earlier and it didn't do anything. Can we go back in now? I can't, okay. So, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm an English nerd, so I'm really trying to like uh, take this apart. I'm thinking that this is uh, kind of a metaphor for like intrusive thoughts, obviously, uh, in the form of the lady kind of scolding yourself about stuff you've done. But I want to say that this is whatever's happening is the good ending we're refusing to go back down to talking to the thoughts and we're i don't know we're being good but nothing cha there has to be more right like there's no way that there's not more there was only one choice that i made well i'm going to end the video here this is very intriguing i'm going to think on it a little bit more um but if you guys in the comments below could tell me if there's more to this game or if the game dev, if you see this, if you could tell me 
If there's more, I will search for it. But for now, I am going to end the video here. A and Q, what does that do? Whatever. Yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Check out the description below. All that stuff. Have a good day. Bye, guys.